when the count came in, there was a total count of 5,004 votes uh, that, that were recorded in election night. And, and I lost by 51 votes. Two days later, Thursday morning, I, I got a phone call from our, our county precinct chair that discovered some anomaly. Those anomalies had, had to do with absentee ballots in the nursing homes and, and incapacitated. But I had no idea about a petition for abnormalities. As, as we went through the abnormalities, there, there became several. Uh, I mean, one, for instance, uh, still has not been answered is why was there 5,055 people who, who actually voted, but only 5,004 recorded as, as voting? It, there was an exact 51 vote difference, the exact number I lost by. Then there were absentee ballots that the documents came back, um, uh, undeliverable uh, address unknown, no forwarding address. Nine of those that came back, people actually voted absentee. The Lisa Standards campaign had sent out saying that they would come out and notarize your ballots. And so I had no idea at that, at that time that that was against the law. The law states, if you are involved in ballot harvesting by being registered on the committee of a campaign, you are not allowed to notarize or witness at no time anybody's ballot. We have a, an individual that did that that is registered on the standards campaign. If the law says they have to be notarized and they have to be notarized a certain way, then a state agency's responsibility is to certify that it has been done and if yeah. they haven't to remove them and we have a we have a state agency that is playing judge jury and executioner and they're not they're not following the law we have people in office that are not following the law the the end result is the individual who is enforcing the law and creating policy to, to enforce it needs to enforce the full law and not have the autonomy to filter who gets punished and who doesn't. That should not go with the state regulatory agency.